But my goodness. Wow. We're really doing this. Let's go! Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, my boy high squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, welcome to another vlog. And guys, we are here in Ilo Ilo at Richmond Hotel. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta see the food. I'd like to you guys to meet Natalie, who runs this entire hot beautiful hotel. Hi Natalie. Hi. You guys saw her in yesterday's vlog. This is Joyce. Hi. Hi Joyce. There's my dad. Hello. Hi daddy. <laughs> There's I'm Lawrence. Busy. I'm busy. There's my bae. Hi. And Albert. Hello. All right, guys. Check out the food. <gasps> In a cell. Mm. Filipino barbecue. Gorgeous salads. Oh, it's just wonderful here. Look at look at that. So this is Ilongo food. Wow. Marinated chicken. Um, that's normally eaten with garlic rice oh. with a side of chicken oil. Yum. And, and of course Sinful, the soy sauce. Yeah. Sinful, but, but really, really delicious. Okay. Lamed. 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 Oh Lamed. my gosh, big. guys, look. Yeah, mm. real big. Food here is delicious. I eat rice, of eat course. Rice. I eat rice of all colors. <laughs> rice is life. Okay, yeah, so let's rice. try. Oh my gosh, look at that, Mabu High Squad. Seriously, go to the fridge and grab food because this vlog is gonna make you hungry. And there's like different sides. See, this is pickled papaya. For those of you who are new to Filipino cuisine, we have sides. This here is pickled papaya called achara. And then you grab one of these, calamansis. This is like a citrus. Mm. See, squeeze that on there. Mm. And then you grab, you can add this, which is spicy soy sauce, but I'm gonna grab this, the chicken oil. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. drizzle that on there, like so. Oh my. How is it, RJ? Oh my gosh, she says it's good, so let's try it, Mabu Rai Squad, let's try it. Look at that. Mm. Let's try it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you guys hear the mmms happening all over the table. Mm. Look at this. <laughs> mm. Mm. Look at how big that is. Mm. That was the thigh leg part. Can you get rice? Guys, look at this. Chicken oil goes on it. It's so good. <laughs> Look at this so garlic rice. Rice. Yeah. rice is life. Mm. Mabu High Squad. This Ilongo food, this chicken and garlic rice, five Mabu High stars. <laughs> OMG, look at this. Mung bean, mungo. Wow! Oh my gosh! This is the chef. Hi, chef. <laughs> mongo pampano. That's my favorite fish. Okay. Wow. Coconut milk. Mm. Guys, this is deep fried pampano, deep fried shrimp. There's like coconut milk in here and mung beans. And it looks like pepper leaves and microgreens. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, guys, sinigang. This is Filipino sour soup with beef ribs. Oh, so all of this is Ilongo food? Yes. Wow. We use local food. They use, oh, it's all local. This one you see here is a souring agent. It's called Batuan. So Batuan. it takes the place of Sambalo. Okay. The Batuan is endemic to Western Visayas. It really? can only be found here, yes. okay. So for those of you who are new to Philippine cuisine, this is sinigang, which is Filipino sour soup. It can be different meats and different souring agents. You could use citrus, some people use um, tamarind, but here they use, what's the fruit called? Batuan. 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 A local fruit to sour it. Oh, I can't wait to try. Oh my gosh, guys, I thought this was pepper leaves. No, it's, it's not. It's called lupo. It's, called lupo. it's a weed that grows here. 
um, disregarded as okay. grass, but it's actually um, edible. It's okay. edible. Um, mm. It's very tough hardy. It's prepared with mungo. Wow. So okay, I can't wait to try. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, seriously. Look at that. The local weed. Oh my gosh, they're giving me local weed. Oh my gosh, okay, so I'm gonna get some of this local wheat and mungo and microgreens. Oh my goodness, guys, healthy, nutrient dense. And then there's like deep fried shrimp. Look at that, look at that. Mm. And then deep fried pampano, even my favorite fish. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is some of the best mungo I've ever had. But one. Marjorie, did you try the mungo? Oh my gosh, so good. Blue marlin steak? Wow. Amazing. Look at that. Wow. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys. I want to try the deep fried pampano. Garlic butter. Mmm. Lauren, so are you enjoying? Uh huh. Yeah. What a great meal. It's a great <laughs> meal. Guys, like I said in the last vlog, Ilo Ilo is a foodie destination and it it's a what? Did yes. you gastro Creative Ci UNESCO Creative City of Gastronomy. Wow, UNESCO Creative City of Gastronomy. Oh, first in the Philippines. Really? First there in the Philippines? Creative cities in the Philippines. The first one is Baguio, that's okay. for folk arts. Second is Cebu for design and the last and the third, the latest is Ilo Ilo for food. Oh my, the best food in the Philippines from Ilo Ilo. Yeah. <gasps> Interesting. What a recognition. Guys, I'm, I'm losing, losing my mind over this food. <laughs> Let's try the ribs, like just separately. Look at the ribs. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but is it available? Yeah. 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 Wow! Those ribs! Yeah. 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 Oh, I think this is that local fruit they were talking about, the souring agent. Wow. Guys, let's try that batuan. Let's try it. Batuan, did you try it? No! It is sour. Did that get sour? It is. Not to be taken in full. I didn't think it was that sour. I love that. Alright, Mabuhai Squad, let's try the blue marlin. It looks so tender. Yeah. Look at that. Let's do the makeup thing. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Melt in your mouth. So good. Sorry guys, I forgot to introduce you. This is Direct JV. Hello. And Direct Eric. Yeah. They're movie directors. They make movies of Ilongo movies. Film, theater. Film and theater. Oh, okay. And you recently won an award, right? Yes, Today? I did. Uh, we all did. Oh, awesome. Congrats. The film is Sa Paglupad Kabanog. It's okay. a longer film about the indigenous peoples, Panay Bukidno. Wow. It won the Gawa Durian. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Daddy, do you have a joke of the yes, day? Mike. Have you had a food in Galaxy? Have I had a food at Galaxy? No. It was good, but there is no atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it was good, but there was no atmosphere. Mabu High Squad. All of this food here at Richmond Hotel Ilo Ilo. Five Mabu High Stars. Guys, this is Chef Ransom. This is our traditional bread. Dessert. Traditional bread. In the small, oh, uh, barangays. He, he says and you can only find this in the local bakeries here. There's a famous uh, pan shop, we call it Buho. Buho? Yeah, the name of the bakery is Buho. Buho. This Buho. is from Buho. Calamansi cheesecake, guys. Mm, cheesecake. 
My mouth is watering. And then this? Pandikoko. Pandikoko. Wow. Guys, you know that cheesecake was my kryptonite during pandemic. I don't, I don't think I've, I've eaten cheesecake since the pandemic. But I'm gonna try it now. I'm like a... I'm like someone who quits cigarettes who's trying cigarettes again. <laughs> oh my gosh, cheesecake. Hello, cheesecake, my old friend. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. 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 Oh uh, my gosh. That moved my soul. <laughs> That cheesecake is five Mabuhay stars too. <laughs> What's up Mabuhay squad? How you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, welcome to another vlog. OMG, today is a very special day. We are here, well currently, in Richmond Hotel. Um, here in Ilo Ilo Philippines, which is a different island than we live in Luzon um, But this is Ilo Ilo guys awesome city uh, and we are now heading to An island called Guimaras Welcome to another vlog. Yay! We got the crew here. There's my dad. Yes. There's Lawrence my high school batchmate. There's RJ I'm excited to visit the island of Guimaras guys this island, the last time we were there, which year was that? Before the pandemic. Yeah, pre-pandemic. The trees, like when you sail up to this island, the color of the trees is unlike any other. Like the combination and the shapes. Guys, this island feels enchanted. Um, and it's supposed to be a very special day. We'll be heading there this time, not by sea, but by helicopter. Oh my gosh, um, we're going to be checking out the um, rest home of our friend uh, who we met last night. His name is Alan Tan. Uh, it's his family's like vacation rest home in Guimaras. So it sounds really exciting and I can't wait to take you guys. Oh my goodness. Wow, we're really doing this. Oh my god, let's go! Oh my god. This is so awesome. Hi sir. Oh my god. Wow. Thank you. Oh wow. Oh my gosh guys. Oh. Awesome. This is so cool. You guys ready? Alright. Alright. Got my coffee. Oh my gosh, guys. It's increasing. This is so cool. Wow. Here we go. I'm so. Why am I nervous? I'm nervous. I'm, I'm not sure. Whoa, see, look. Oh my gosh, wow. Holy, so this is how dragonflies feel. <laughs> oh, this is so neat. Whoa. Oh my gosh, so cool. Wow. Oh my gosh, Mumble High Squad, look. Whoa. This river. Wow. Oh, is that Guimaras? Oh, there it is. Oh, I see, guys. Oh, my squad. That's Guimaras. That's where we're going. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're rising pretty fast. Yeah, the last time we were in a helicopter was in Vegas. But this is so different. Like Vegas had buildings. This is like a expanse of tropical, like beachscape. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at it down there. 
Oh, oh, it's weird. It's, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's weird how we're twisting, guys. We're like twisting. Like a roller coaster, that's what I'm saying there. <laughs> oh my gosh. It twists. I just think I'm leaving now. Yeah, pilot's doing really well. Okay, Mabuhai squad. Now check out the trees. Like, look at the shape and collection of trees. Look, see? See it? It's so unique. Whoa. Oh my gosh, we're landing right on the beach? Like, just here? Wow. Oh my gosh, guys, wow. There's Alan Tan right now, down there. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. It's just so wow, everything. Whoa. That was... Wow. That's it. Cool. Oh my gosh. Sir Alan, hi! Thank you so much yeah. for that! That was amazing! Holy! Guys, this is Alan Tan and this is his island! <laughs> his private island! Hello! Hi, hi ma'am! Hi, there's Miss Natalie! That was the coolest thing ever! <laughs> that was so cool! Hi guys, this is Liam! He's an AC family! Hi Liam! You're lucky to have this island and ride helicopters. This is Macy. Hi, Macy. <laughs> this is so cool. So guys, this is Guimaras, but it's up the private island of the Tan family. Wow, what a place. See, look at the trees though. I mean, I don't know if you guys could see, but like the collection of trees here is something else. I don't know, something I just noticed. The very first time I visited Guimaras. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Oh, is this oh, food? Wow, wow. Oh my gosh, thank you, Alan. He brought test tubes in case I find queen ants or insects. Wow, thank you. Alan Tan is an animal lover too. We'll talk about that after. He's got so many different animals. Liam, you've already begun hunting what did for you get? But hermit crabs. Hermit crabs? Where? Where? It's in your box. Is it in your box? Hermit crabs? There. Whoa, cool. They're just hiding. Oh, there, I see. Hermit crabs. Look. Oh, nice. So cute. But they're like um. They grow big, I see. Oh, he's an animal lover, this guy. See? You're totally AC family. Guys, look at the mangroves. See those little see those little tubes that stick out of the water? This allows these plants to live in salty water. Cause like in case you don't if you're new to plants, plants generally can't really grow in the ocean because of the salts and minerals, but mangroves can. And it offers a lot of like really good habitat for animals. So these tube like things help the plants get rid of salts. Mangroves are very important, especially for, you know, like, not only habitat for animals, but they help break, like, tsunamis, right? They're important habitat to, uh, for the safety of humans. Oh my gosh, look at the rock. So cool. 
And so they just hang out here. It's like a, 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 a tropical getaway. And have you guys swam in here or are there sea urchins? Oh, on the beach side. Okay, but do you swim here on this side? No. You can swim here, but you can, uh, it's a bit muddy. It's muddy. Oh, shellfish? Oh, cool. Oh, really? You can hunt for shellfish and you use your feet. Oh, wow. This hotel makes them. Oh. That looks good too. Now we can during the pandemic. Wow. Mr. Tan's hotel makes these. Wow. So it's all fresh. Dragon fruit, I so love. it has to be frozen because mm -hmm. it's fresh. Oh. All right. Yeah. Ooh, cucumber, ginger, calamansi. Okay, I want this one. Oh, turmeric is good too. Yeah. Liam, are you coming with us? Let's go. Are you coming? We're going to bring our capsules for catching insects just in case. All right, guys, we're going to see the villas now. It's a five minute trek. Oh, cute. They decorated this pine tree into a Christmas tree. Yeah, apples. And garlic. Look, garlic. You can do paddle boating, see, kayaking in this little outlet here, which is brackish water, I think. I don't know what, or is this ocean? I don't know. Wow. Yeah, this does look like Kota Kinabalu. Do you guys remember when we went to Saba? That's what this reminds me of. Oh, look at this plant. This is an orchid. Wow, look at this forest, guys. And apparently, part of this island or a lot of this island is a reserve. It's like an untouched virgin forest. And there are monkeys in the trees. Ah, oh, sweet. Look at these. This building faces the sunset. So when the Tan family has friends and family that come here, they can stay in these villas. Wow, what a, what a location. These Bahai Kubos, look, see that? Awesome. Yeah, they have air conditioning, see? Air conditioning unit. What an amazing villa, beautiful. Oh, where? On that island? Oh, that's where the monkeys are. Okay, and apparently they'll like cross land bridges and come here sometimes. Wow, look at the bedrooms. Oh, gorgeous, RJ, look. Beautiful. RJ, isn't it nice? Amazing. I mean, wow. Oh my gosh, look at the rooms. Oh, it's nice and cold in here. <gasps> Amazing. Oh, this is this is heaven. Seriously. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Liam, you're so lucky. You could come here anytime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that boat down there. Sweet. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. I love the roof. See? The straw roof. What do you think, RJ? That's beautiful. Right? What do you think, Lawrence? Uh, the speechless. Speechless. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty, pretty awesome. Guimaras, you are gorgeous. OMG, guys, look at the bathroom. Okay, the bedroom is gorgeous. With television, by the way, and fan and air conditioning. But look at the bathroom. Look at how cool and rustic. See, you got bamboo here. Your shower. And you can bathe on, like, stones. <gasps> Hello, grounding. Oh, I love this. This is, like, sea rock or volcanic sea rock. And they've created a cool wall. Oh, this is giving me ideas for Ants Canada terrariums. Mabuhai squad, is this not so special? Wow. Daddy, what do you think? Did you, ex <laughs> did you expect we would be doing something this cool here no, in Guimaras? This is a dream. Right? <laughs> Just like a dream. Yeah. Oh, we're likely to see monkeys around sunset. They're loud? interesting they're loud and gregarious and i love how there's just like a cool beach here sweet natural beach cool weaver ant nest right there awesome healthy ecosystem all right guys put on some sunscreen because what's up next is gonna be pretty awesome guys there's our boat we're getting in there look at all the mangroves down there See what I mean about like how important it is for like habitat for animals? See, they're there too. 
and it acts as a shield for like typhoons. There would never be a typhoon here because it's protected but by all of these rock islands. But it's important that we keep mangroves because, you know, they help shield against uh, tsunamis and water surges. Wow, look at all these swiftlets here. See them? See them? They're so close. I hope to attract swiftlets to our property now that we have a pond. Liam, you catching new crabs? Let's see. You caught, you caught more? A lot. A lot? Holy, look at how many. Wow, that's a lot. There's still more. Let, let me grab one. Oops. They don't bite much. They don't bite much. <laughs> wow, so cool. Amazing. Look at this one. I love they have the shell of it. Shell. They yeah. have different shells inside. I see. And there's a lot. Oh Look at how they go inside God. when you pick them up. Oh, nothing inside. Nothing inside. Oh. We'll leave it here. Wow. I mean, this is a nature lover's heaven. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's a net, guys. Like, it's so thin, but it's hard. And look, there's even a, a shrimp there. See the shrimp? Wow, so this is what they use. Natalie caught a hermit crab. Sweet. I see one, guys. Right here. Oh, cute. There's a lot, really. I'm amazed at how they move so well underwater. Like, see that? So many. Look at the red one. One of these things just doesn't belong here. One of these things is kind of the same. Guys, my dad's doing his morning stretches. See? It's his secret to being young and being healthy. This place is truly a paradise. Can you imagine having a place like this? <gasps> wow. What? Like, I'm just mind blown by this. Liam, did you find an ant? Where? Oh, there's a lot here. Okay, let's look at them. These here are called black crazy ants. They're invasive. So guys, we're going to do island hopping now. Just gonna be passing by all the various islands. RJ's ready with his rash guard. And just gonna enjoy this beach life, like Moana Paradise. What a cool chair, what a cool chair. Look at this, it's made of a tire. See, what is it, bike tires or something? Wow, talk about upcycling. RJ's thinking of getting one for our house. They can make it, apparently the locals make it. It's very, very resourceful. My dad's hanging out by the tanning beds. Are you ready to do island hopping? Oh yes, <laughs> I want to see Guimaras. Guimaras, the island. Guys, there are little tiny crabs here too. Different ones, like, like, see? Yeah, how cute that is. So cute. Okay guys, we're getting into the boat. Yeah. Slowly. Let's see. Let's All right. See. My dad was smart enough to bring his wet shoes. Wow, it's so refreshing. Thank you, Kuya. Salamat po. Wow. Cool. Awesome. All right, we're off, Mabuhay squad. And Dodo is taking us. Wow. Oh yeah, there's the villa. We just got, we just came from there. So those things there are fish pens. There's like nets that keep the fish within that little area. And they breed them and they raise them for selling. All of these islands are awesome. So this island is called Turtle Island because it looks like a turtle, right? See the head and the neck and the shell. Cute. Look at this island, guys. It's so beautiful. The plants are so different. Wow, guys, look at this rock formation. Wow. All right. What do you think, Lawrence? Wow. Wow, right? Wow, wow, wow. OMG, guys, we can swim. 
Should we get in? Oh, apparently it's pretty deep down there. Like five, how many meters? Five meters? Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Guys, look at the coral. See the coral in there? Wow, beautiful. Oh man, I wish I brought my GoPro. Oh wow, guys, there's a starfish, a blue one. Dodo is going in, oh my gosh. He's gonna get the starfish? Oh wow. It's like gray. Whoa, oh my gosh. It looks fake. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, should we put it back in the water? Oh. You're not scared. I'm not scared. Wow. Yum. Good job here. Let's go. Okay, we threw the starfish back in the water because guys, if you're not actually supposed to take them out, I think it's it's discouraged. So good. My boy, squad, the water is perfect right now. Oh. Love living in the Philippines. Yes. All you who are experiencing like cold right now from cold countries, come Swim virtually. Enjoy. Look. Absorb this beach. Beach energy. <laughs> RJ, you're not swimming? Okay, careful. I went back in and. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the ocean. They have life jackets. I went back in and, guys, the coral under there is amazing. Sadly, we didn't bring our GoPro. We didn't think we would be doing like beach stuff like this. If only we knew. How was it, Liam? It was good. It was good. You saw a fish? All right, guys, we're moving on. So a lot of these islands are owned by people and they have rest houses, vacation homes, resort, resort areas for like tourists. This particular house is for sale, apparently. RJ, Mabuhay Squad Beach House. Huh? Huh? Wow, look at that. Look at those trees. You see what I mean? What kind of trees are those? Wow. They're like cycad looking. I don't even know. Wow, this is Crocodile Island. Do you see why? It looks like a crocodile. So, so cool. That's totally a croc. Or like a dragon head. Alright guys, so now we're stopping by a really cool place. This here is a sandbar because it's low tide. We can actually walk along this like sandbar. Alright, let's go. Uh, thank you. Ooh. Oh, the water is perfect guys. It's like nice and cool. Wow, floating cottage. Sweet. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, they've got a little cool, like, store here. Amazing! Wow, guys, look! It's awesome! <laughs> My dad's taking pictures. Wow! What do you think, Lawrence? Awesome, right? And to think! You've never been to a Philippine beach yet? But every time he comes to the Philippines, I ask him, you're not visiting a beach, but now you are. And this was not really planned. Daddy, what do you think? Perfect. Perfect. It's just like a dream. It's just like a dream. Pinch me, daddy. Today I'm supposed to be shoveling snow by now. Look at now. I know. This is paradise. I hate it. I hate it shoveling snow. Ew. Oh my gosh, look at this crab. Oh, and it just buried itself. I love sandbars. Like, you could literally just walk on the soft sand. RJ, what do you think? Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm, guys, look. They brought, like, dried fruits. I love it. <laughs> Little prunes, so healthy. My dad is totally swimming. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. The water is nice, right? Is it shallow? It's deep enough. It's deep enough, he says. Wow, guys. There's a bunch of like... It's a club. You're a club. There's a Sidu club that just stopped by here. Okay, so this is like a cafe on the side of the highway. People just stop by and they... Oh, it's not a Sidu club? What is it? It's a Ilo Ilo Boat Club. Ilo Ilo Boat Club. Oh, I see. All Yamaha. All Yamaha. Oh, sweet. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, so this is like the cafe on the side of the highway. Everyone yeah, just stops everyone by. Everyone stops by. Everyone stops by for coffee. I love it. Yeah. Having an apple. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. How long from boat club to here? And coffee. Cheers, my boys, Gordon. Look at my dad out there, living his best life, chilling by himself, sunbathing. I love to see it. Okay, so like, <laughs> we just spend the whole day here now. Look at that. My dad's back in the water. I love his choices in life right now. Like, that's retirement goals. All right, guys. So, we're here. Okay, thank you. We're here on another island. This island is famous for its mangroves. So, Guimaras is not just an island. It's like a series of islands close to Iloilo. Interesting. But it's it, it's its own province. It's not part of Iloilo. Wow, see? It's these beautiful... Oh! It is a cycad! I knew it! These cycads are gorgeous. It's like a type of palm, like ancient. I guess that's, that's the scientific name. Oh, gorgeous! And guys, something here smells really good. Like... It smells like fruity almost. Mm. Citrusy. Yes, yeah, citrusy, something sweet. Wow, guys, we're here in the mangrove forest. Look at it. See those huge roots? Awesome. It's it's so dense. Wow. See, observe cleanliness at all times. More dense? All right, let's see. Wow, gorgeous. Look at all these. I would love to do a mangrove. Um, terrarium one day it would require salt water but i've never done salt water tanks oh my gosh wow it's really dense here look at that that's unreal <laughs> all of these roots look so unreal like how do you walk through this you can't i've never seen a mangrove forest this dense right of all the yeah, yeah. places we've traveled in the world this is the most densest mangrove forest I've ever seen. Now I can see why they protect people against tsunamis. They really break anything coming through. Winds, like, you know, typhoons and stuff. They really shield. That is insane. See? See the entanglement of like air roots of these mangroves? And then we end here. Oh, so cool. What's there, Liam? Fish. Swordfish. Swordfish? Yep. Let's see where. Oh, needlefish. Unbelievable. See? It's also a lot cooler in these mangrove, these mangrove forests. And things are falling from the top, guys. The trees are throwing things at us. <gasps> wow, so they're saying that during high tide, the water comes and covers a lot of these roots. So guys, we're back here on the private island and we're having lunch. And it looks like yes. this is our appetizer. <laughs> wow, guys. Sea urchins. <gasps> oh, yeah. Look at the color. It's a little different from the Japanese. One. Yeah. Oh, like, are we allowed to touch it? Or... Oh, my. And we're going to we're gonna eat what's inside. Spiky. Yeah. It's like spiny. Are we allowed to touch it? I mean, oh, my gosh, guys. It's still actually moving, the needles. Ew. This thing is alive. Poor guy. But I can't wait. Or girl. I'll try it. Or hermaphrodite. We have to check Google. But um, we get to eat all that gooey stuff inside. RJ, for sure, you're not going to eat. No, I'll try it. You will? Yeah. You're going to eat the uni? Of course. Wow, I'm impressed. Why wouldn't we? RJ, you're getting more adventurous. I appreciate this. <laughs> We should do, cause guys, like a couple a couple weeks ago, we were contacted by Amazing Race Canada 
to audition, but I said no because he doesn't eat things. He doesn't swim. He doesn't do heights. He doesn't do any of that. So, wow, chicken binacol, which is a Filipino this soup. It's native chicken, sir. N it's native chicken, so it's like wild chicken cooked in coconut water. Oh my goodness. Mm. There's the rice. Of course, rice is life. Guys, you saw this yesterday. This is Batuan Sinigang. Ah, oh, Filipino sour soup. So good. Oh my gosh, this looks like Melody, guys. Hi, you look like our farm cat. Oh. Wow, freshly caught seafood. Look at the size of those prawns. Wow. Mm. We got pancit. Yes, Filipino noodles. Alan, thank you so much for yeah, all of this. This is such a treat. Oh this is wow. a blessing. Oh, my favorite! No, it's, it's changing. Guys, look. Wow, this is called managat. It's kind of like sea bass. Mmm. And this is my favorite, guys. The unicorn of the Philippines. Squid. Mmm. Again, freshly caught from the ocean. Wow, look at the clams. Mmm. Yum. Okay, guys, I'm going to try the sea yeah, urchin. Are there fish in here too? Oh my gosh, the sea urchin yeah. is like. This is. Uh, are we allowed to touch it? Okay. Oh, they've cut the, they've cut the sharp part of the spikes. So apparently, we just need to squeeze some calamansi, the citrus, in, and then scoop. Oh my gosh, fresh from the ocean. Oh, there's a lot in here. It didn't look like there was a lot. All right, guys, some fresh Filipino uni. Let's try. Look at that. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Yum. I mean, I feel bad that this was just alive, but that goes for all meat. All meat, guys. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my. Mmm. I have to see RJ do this. Go. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's good? No. Guys, let's try the binakol, the chicken cooked in coconut. Oh my. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's like sweet, but coconut sweet, so it's like salty still. Mm. Mm. There's some coconut flesh. Then let's eat. So good. Oh my god, guys. This binacol is five Mabuhay stars. Wow, guys. This is ad adubado, which is like a fish. Coconut milk? Anato seeds. And anato seeds. Oh, okay. Wow. It looks like a Thai dish almost. Yeah, almost. Interesting. Wow, guys. Let's try this Abu Dhabi. I mean, Abu Dhabi. Adubado. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. So good. The coconut cream. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Guys, this adubado is also five Mabuhay stars. And guys, one of Guimaras' most famous agricultural products, mango. It's supposed to be the sweetest, best mangoes of the Philippines, Guimaras. Let's try. Let's try. Oh. Mm. 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 This is so sweet. Good. The best. Five Mabuhay stars too. And guys, this is their specialty apparently. It's Turon. So it's like deep fried plantain in a wrapper. deep Yeah, what's this dip? Chocolate? Oh, it's tablea. It's chocolate. Mm. So Lawrence dipped it in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Let's do a taste test. First time having turon, right? Mm -hmm. How is it? Oh, good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Guys, we got freshly cut coconuts to drink. Mm. Electrolytes. Alright guys, let's have some coconut. 
It's so sweet. Mm. <sighs> so good. Oh! Liam put a crab on my shoulder. There's a crab. Ow. Okay, wait, crab. I want to focus on you. Oh, you have to hold it by its back. Okay, I see. <laughs> Poor crab. Mabuhai squad. So as I said earlier, <laughs> Alan is an animal lover, just like us. So Alan, what animals do you have? Well, before I had ducks, ducks. turkeys, uh, chickens, chickens, and I have sulcata tortoise. Sulcata tortoise. Now I have aldabra. Aldabra tortoise. Uh, and and uh, the one that you wanted, the pheasant bird. Oh yeah, pheasants. Yeah. Guys, I, we were talking and I think we might put pheasants in the aviary. They don't destroy trees, you said, right? Yeah, and plants. Yeah. Yeah, and that's... you can try your peacocks. Yes, peacocks. So he even gave us the breeder's yeah. contact for these animals. Um, you've also had cassowary. Yeah, before. What? That's crazy. Yeah. And he has African cichlids. He's got um, a cockatiel. What else did you say? Everything. Yeah. Guys, everything. And giant poodles. Giant poodles. Yeah. See? Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Salamat po. All right, Mabuhay squad. We're heading back home. Thank you so much. We'll see you at dinner. Yeah. Thank you, Alan. We'll see you at dinner. Thank you so much. This has been incredible. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you later. Thanks. I'm hopping in your helicopter. All right, Mabuhay squad. So we've come to the end of the vlog here in beautiful Guimaras. We will see you guys back in Iloilo. If you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And I know you guys have been doing that. So thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhay squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. I'll see you in the next vlog. We're heading back to Iloilo. Love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.